Xbox Live. Almost like Sora. Not Rosa. Sora, interesting. Three, two, one, you know, go. Definitely not going to be Edgar that is easily. Looks like the name of the game is how well can the gear keep um, Neos out of the corner. As you can see, like, both these players are fighting so hard for center stage. They both want it so bad, right? Both characters can edge guard each other so hard, so the last thing they want is to be sent off stage. And because of that, yeah, you can't you can't be double jumping like that, right? Last that time the gear got away with it, but I feel like if you double jump like that, you're eventually gonna get gimped and you're gonna kill get killed super early. Okay. Let's see if we can get the gimp. Nice bomb recovery, but really good ball follow pressure. See, the thing with uh Link with the bomb is that you can sometimes pressure. You can sometimes pressure it if you know exactly the angle they're gonna go. Because most links kind of recover with the same angle. Like they have an angle that they really like. Yeah, it takes the soft. Yeah, Sora's um, Sora's aerials are so good at just covering space, and Neos is abusing it so hard, showing kind of his experience for uh for like five to six years. Now he might not go to events as much nowadays, but you know he still got it. Back to neutral. It's honestly, playing against. What I really like about Neos is how. So, Sora, right? Everyone knows that Sora's one big weakness is that, like, he's super floaty, right? But he's using the floatiness to one stall on stage to make. to put on a lot of mix ups onto here. To kind of make him overcommit. And two, to kind of air drift a lot. To kind of weep in and out of uh, the gears. The gears, um. The gears often. Right? Because. Uh, he's in the air for so long, he has so much time to react with Ariel, which lets him get so much out. And there you go, right? Really good mix up. First, throws out so many aerials, and then right once you hear shield, he goes for the grab. Really good, really good patience from Neo. The gear's gonna need to make something work if he wants to make the comeback. Neo has, still hasn't punished it. See, last time to hear, right? He, get, he got pressured for trying to um, uh, bomb right up back on the stage. This time, he tries to uh, bomb back to the ledge, but ends up getting uh, killed on the ledge anyway. Ooh. If you notice, normally, right, Link has really good walling, but because of uh, uh, because of Thor's fire, he can kind of you know nullify Link. Inspired, but one stock to one to here, bring it back a little bit. If I'm to here, I'm gonna be. I, I really want to see more kind of edge guards, either edge guards or just more ledge. I'm just catching on to Neos's drifting off stage. No, you can shield or like defend on stage, but at some point, I feel like you should just you know go off stage and just go for the kill, right? Uh, Something that Neos might not expect necessarily because he hasn't gone for it the whole entire game. This is an opportunity. Ooh, got stuck on the platform. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a double jump there. Okay. Slowly bring it back into here. This might be an edge guard. He's gonna stay on stage though. Alright, this is honestly a really opportune moment. Ooh, but I just love how Neo is so patient out of the corner, right? Most players, all they do is get those two panic on but Neo, you can tell when a player is always reacting, always, up, always updating their awareness of the situation, and just finding the best way to get out of the corner, and from the corner, he fights back, takes it with a thunder, 1-0. This is honestly looking kind of tough for it here. If I'm to here, I'm gonna try to figure out how to deal both with um, Sora's ledge planking and how to deal with um, Neos' reaction down in the corner. Honestly, it's really tough, right? 
he's, he's drifting so much, you know, win for your overcommit, and once you overcommit, that's the opportunity to just gain all the advantage that he wants. He is not giving Zaheer any opening. And even when even when Zaheer was kind of making a comeback, it was all just chip damage, right? He had to win neutral so many times. He had to win so many interactions just to bring back the lead. Anyway, back to the match. Let's see what Zaheer is going to be able to do to, to kind of uh, compensate for the last match. Oh yeah, that's a gear grab he's known for. He's hit that against me so many times. He's got Link, Link walls you out, and he knows exactly what to grab. Yeah, good roll out of the corner, but not sure if I like that jab out of the roll out of disadvantage. Okay, good that shake. And this is big damage now. I can definitely see the play. Ooh. He has a reaction on that neutral getup, but just misses it. But uh, still holds his advantage. He was moving over a little too much out of the corner. But Neo, right, as a very experienced common, very experienced player, I'm sure he's not frazzled by this at all. He is taking this opportunity. He's gonna recollect and he's gonna make his comeback. But before Neo has any opportunity to do that, I don't know. Here might take this whole game. Okay. Really nice pop, right? Really nice combo string. And there you go. Like I said, Zahir, right? Before he was just aiming back, waiting for Sora to kind of expend all his resources, which in principle sounds really good, but that just gives Sora so much space. But now you see he's mixing a lot more aggression when it comes to cornering um cornering Neo, giving Neo less room for mix up and allowing him to call him out and get very high reward. Really like the adaptation for Zaheer. And here you go. Another call out. She calls out the jump. Three stops to one. Ooh, tries to be a little sneaky with the bomb. And looks like it catches Zaheer off guard. It's, he gets he taken the stop. Let's see this. Wow, barely outspaces uh, Doris Fair. Really, really like how things are going with Zaheer. Really like the adaptation. Honestly, seeing a player, like, adapt like that is just so cool to watch. Because you can just tell, like, these players are just not brainlessly matching. Like, you know, Twitch chat or YouTube might talk about, like, oh, this character's just matching. But no, these players, you know, they're constantly trying to outsmart each other like a game of chess. So, really like what I'm seeing here. Looks like we're going to get a game three. And uh, this is a pretty nice matchup. So, honestly, I'm down to see a game three. Okay. There you go, another one. He's so good at getting that grab. He's gotten that grab against me so much. It is so good. You just don't expect it because Link's grab is so bad. But he knows how to mix it up exactly. Alright. Let's see if Neo's can get the red start. And there you go. Getting a little aggressive. And there we go. All right. I'm interested to see where we're going next. Um, I'm gonna get a smaller stage because the hero really wants to go to a larger stage. It seems because he counterpicked a PS2, which is just a um, big, small battlefield. Station seven, Dazzle and Roberts. Station seven, Dazzle and Roberts. It's honestly interesting to see Neo's going um, Sora. I guess Rosa and uh, Sora are kind of similar in the sense that both are floaty and uh, the buzz play floaty. Alright. I'm going to be hopping off the mic. I got my match, so uh, I might see you guys later. Alright, bye. What? Is uh, 
What's up, gamers? It's hard, again. It's really hard to, like, have multiple people commentating at the same time on this, on this, uh, little corner setup we got here, frankly. But, Anthony is here, two legends, I would say, of Georgia Smash. Going back, you know, 2014, 2013, early old times. And Neos, you know, uh, taking an early first stock, I would say that this matchup is probably uh, one of Rose's better matchups. I don't, I don't think her spread is that phenomenal in this game, but you know. Station 12, DC and Zebra. Station 12, DC and Zebra. Yeah. 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 Station 1, Caesar and Dorco. Station 1, Caesar and Dorco. Hi, Swickles. Oh my god, what a down here by Neos. Uh, covering the bomb recovery. Uh, is he here? And this is going to be super important for Zaheer. Most things are going to kill right now. Oppy from center stage, a little F-tilt near the ledge. Whereas it's not the, you know, the heaviest character in the game. Still, still heavier than Fox. But, you know, makes sense. Oh my god, and Neos, knowing exactly when Zaheer wants to try to get out of the corner with the bomb and gets a backer, but now Zaheer has the stage control, what is he going to do with it? As he retreats to the side, Neos tries to take it. Oh my god, now Neos has the stage completely. Zaheer is able to get back center stage, and oh my god. Trying to go for a Luma setup, doesn't quite hit it, but you know, we still have full control of the game. Oh my god, and we, we don't have much of a shield here either. Oh my god, that kills. Anyway. That'll do it. Not a super big upset, I would say, but regardless, it uh, good high-level set play. I already reported it. Up next, we have Sunito 